Welcome to Looking Within, a podcast for the spiritual explorer in each of us. I'm Julie. I love to explore the inner life using contemplative practices, and I love to help others to do the same. In our time together, I hope you gain a sense of hope, meaning, joy, and love. As a Christian spiritual explorer, I hope to offer some thoughts to help you see God's presence and activity in ever-expanding ways. As you listen, ponder, and experience the divine, feel free to use the spiritual perspective you are most comfortable with in our practice today. Now, let's begin. I recently led a 40-day online group that studied and lived with a prayer practice called the Welcoming Prayer. We found the Welcoming Prayer to be a wonderful tool to open one up to the loving presence and action of God in daily life. This prayer practice is a whole lot about surrender, meaning it's a whole lot about letting go of the desire for security, approval, and control, and the desire to change situations, conditions, or persons in order to fit your preferred specifications for that moment. We discovered the truth others have discovered. All of these desires for security, affection, and control feed our false, small ego selves. All of these desires, when we perceive them as unfulfilled, can lead to bitterness, entitlement, or victimhood. And we discovered that whenever we let go of these desires, and welcomed everything that comes to us in the present moment, we found some degree of healing in our emotions, or in the stories, narratives, or commentaries that we carry from our past personal experiences. It was a helpful 40-day journey. Throughout these months of sheltering in place due to COVID-19, and since the murder of George Floyd, which has propelled our nation and the entire world into a time of self and system examination, I've been thinking a lot about this 40-day group and all that we learned. During our final online meeting in early June, and with the backdrop of COVID and George Floyd's murder, one of our groups shared that her work with our prayer practice had shown her the need to be grounded and whole so that she could be of help so she could truly and deeply listen, and then be ready to act and assist in whatever way she was called to. Another group member identified the benefit of a place like our group to have deep conversations that iron sharpens iron, as it says in the book of Proverbs in the Bible. I appreciated their comments, because honestly, As our nation and the entire world face some immense challenges and things to address together, we need to all be at our best, grounded and whole, clear thinking, as healthy and rested as possible, and less distracted and over-entertained. We'll need to be able to discuss issues, examine systems, listen deeply to others around us, and imagine new solutions and ways of doing things that are life-giving to all people everywhere. Historically, I've been more naturally inclined to be somewhere on the sidelines, often very unaware and hesitant when it comes to bigger societal and global issues that required more complex thinking on my part, or even activism. Every once in a while, it's helpful to do a bit of a self-check, kind of like what we do when we flip the calendar to a new year. But this time, the stakes are even higher than just instituting a new diet or personal exercise regimen or losing some weight. This time, it's setting a renewed and conscious intention to cultivate each day our most open, conscious, compassionate, and loving selves. Selves that are able to discover, along with others, solutions that give life, health, and wholeness to everyone equally. Truly, our planet and her people need our most loving and conscious self, now more than ever. Let's think about this during our quiet moments together. In this quiet space and time, I'd invite you to gently close your eyes. I'll sound the Tibetan singing bowl, which will call you to look within. 
As you're listening to the bowl's reverberations, take three deep breaths. Then let your breathing return to normal whenever you'd like. Hear the sound of the bowl now. Let it center you. Let it remind you that God is here with you. Immense challenges face us, nationally and globally, along with opportunities to finally, collectively, achieve some needed changes. You and I are needed. Our ideas, our efforts, whatever they may be, just our presence of love and compassion. Can you sense a noble cause a larger purpose that is calling to you? How can you construct your daily life so you'll be more grounded and whole, less distracted and over-entertained, so you can listen deeply and love more inclusively? I'll be back with you in about three minutes. I'd invite you now to take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out. 
Let these breaths fill you with strength and energy. Hear me sound the Tibetan singing bowl, and as the sound of the bowl reverberates and slowly dies away, you can gently open your eyes, remaining still for a moment longer. Before we close today, thank you for listening and for your support of this podcast. Looking Within is a part of Gloria Day's Contemplative Practices Ministry and is made possible through the generosity of your financial gifts. Contributions can be made by texting 855-461-0209 or online at gloria-day.com slash giving. Thank you so much for your financial support. And remember to share an episode with someone you think might also enjoy and benefit from it. Today, I'm feeling like it's time to be at my best, my most grounded and whole, so that whether my presence is needed in dialogue with others or in action to help make our global community more livable, just, and life-giving for all, I'll be ready, engaged, and able to offer my most loving and compassionate self. On his deathbed, St. Francis is said to have told his followers, I have done what is mine to do. May Christ show you what is yours to do. May your life and mine be lived in such a way that our focus, our energies, and our love can be of help to a hurting world. May we discover what is uniquely ours to do during this critical time in human and global history. Thank you for making time for your inner self today. Whatever you've discovered and experienced, carry that with you in the coming days. You can find more episodes at our website, Gloria-Day, that's D-E-I, dot com, slash Looking Within Podcast, or subscribe through your favorite podcast app. We'll see you next time.